Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today I'm doing a very short video to show you how to link SteamVR within Oculus Home. Now, I take no credit for this. Uh, this was posted on the Oculus community Reddit and this was posted by a fella called Atok48 who also helped um, was helped by a user called, ready for it, N01773H Rift. So all the praise and thanks go to those guys. I'll put the link to the original post down below so you can say hi, drop by and say thank you to them should you feel you need to. But basically what I've done is I've taken what the information that they've provided, made a little package together and made it super easy for you guys to implement this little tweak. So I hope you guys like it and uh, let's dive in. Okay guys, so here we are on the desktop. So first things first is you want to head over to the Oculus Store and look for this application here, Discover, WA. Install that program, it's uh, about 119 megabytes. And once that's installed, head over to this link here, which I'll put in the description below, which is to my Dropbox account. And you can download this steamfiles.ra. Once that's downloaded, which is super, super small, go into your downloads and unpackage it. And you'll see that I've already created your Steam icons and a replacement executable. So this is going to make the uh, process super, super easy. So all you need to do now is navigate to the drive that you've got your Oculus folder installed on. Go into Oculus, Software, Software, and scroll down to Parks and Wildlife, Discover. So in here you'll see the executable already, and you want to rename that, Fold, and then copy the one from the Steam Files folder that I provided. So that bit's done. That will basically link straight to the Steam VR application. So now to change the icons over so they look like the Steam VR ones, we go to Oculus, Software, Software, Store Assets, and then scroll down to Parks and Wildlife. And basically just copy the two images across to the folder and replace. As you can see, I've done mine already. So once that's done, you can then close all that down, launch Oculus, go into the home, make sure you restart the actual application, and then when you go into the home via the headset, you'll see that the Steam VR application is there, and it'll link you straight to Steam VR. Okay, thanks very much guys, I hope you liked the video, I hope it was helpful, uh, let me know if you got it all working okay, hit me a like if uh, it did, uh, leave me a comment if you had any problems, and uh, thanks for watching, and as always, see you on the next one, cheers.